Oh, gosh. Sorry, that was a little loud in our headphones. Very loud. <clears throat> but, what's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are here for a new game. This game is called the Democratic Socialism Simulator. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Um, the interesting thing is this will likely come out after the election. Yeah. Whereas we're filming this before the election or as many people have correctly pointed out during the election because people are voting now. So yeah. it's arguably during the election. Uh, it is, it is currently, uh, without giving away like an exact date or whatever, it is like mid October, 2020 right now that we are filming this, yes. um, as we have filmed so many things during, um, social isolation or quarantine or whatever you want to call it uh during COVID-19 um but this was one of the in games the US, obviously yes here in the United States thank you and more specifically the northeast of the United States if Correct. that is relevant um it, I mean if you're looking at COVID-19 it certainly is sure sure uh so this was one of the games that we received for or from the uh, bundle for racial equality from itch.io so shout outs to all the awesome creators who um donated to that and uh yes. to all of our fellow donators uh because we we donated an amount of money to uh receive this large bundle of games um and that was a really cool thing that we really appreciated being able to do yeah um and so what else would we do but show off these cool games um from these cool yeah. creators Ooh, yeah exactly <laughs> so here we are with the democratic socialism simulator yeah that seems cool are you ready? See, yeah. Okay. So it says, Welcome to the Democratic Socialism Simulator. Would you like to take a quick tutorial? Drag this card left or right to answer. So you say, No, I've done this before, or yes, please. So it's presumably yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Our assistant is very cool looking. Right? Great. So... This machine simulates the challenges that a socialist or social democratic government might face in the USA. Oh, cool. Ew, why, or continue. Continue, please. <laughs> you play as the president of the United States and the coalition behind him, her, them. Oh. Am I many people or go on? Am I many people? Yes, you are given the power of a whole governing body. It's just a way to streamline the user experience. Oh. Not democratic then or okay? Not democratic then. Yes, a single player democracy is a contradiction in terms. Are you willing to tolerate it? No or yes? I'm not sure. Uh. I thought it was going to be like an actual simulation, but it's not because you're making the decisions. So therefore, it's not a simulation of what it actually would be. It's simply a simulation of what your decisions were. Okay. Does that make sense? I mean, kind of. You know a lot more about this than I would. But I do? I would think so. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess say yes. This machine will offer you semi-random proposals with two choices, like this one. I disagree or I get it. I get it. How do you disagree with that? Some messages won't require any choice on your part, like this one. Just swipe either way. In the screen below, you'll see a model of the electorate. It's a collection of virtual voters. Yay! They look so cute. <laughs> they look like little Pokemon. Yeah, kind of. The voters are positioned according to their approval. The closest ones will vote for you on the next at the next elections. Oh, cool. Okay. Each virtual voter has two top priorities. A choice might alienate some voters and attract others. Drag left and right to preview the effects. Oh, so, cool. So, you could pick... We're starting off strong, folks. Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter? Uh, black Lives Matter. Yes, that is absolutely correct. But just for the sake of it, I'm going to show <laughs> you what they're talking about. That you okay. hover to show. So if you look at the voters, okay. if you're in the middle, if you go like this, the ones in the back move closer to you. And those couple uh, with the um, 
scales of justice on them move away from you. Okay. If you say all lives matter, but if you say black lives matter, basically the ones that were already kind of close to you move closer, okay. and the ones that were very far away from you move even farther away oh, from okay. you for Black Lives Matter. So, okay. you know, in that instance... Because we already said we want to do this simulation. Correct. So correct. It already knows. Okay. Yeah. And and I mean, honestly, the, the response is, you know, good riddance to those three in the back. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, can... if they eventually fall off the, in the edge of the grid, <laughs> uh, we will uh, not even notice. <laughs> now it says you can click on the individual voters to check their top issues and their approval. Okay. So, for example, these people in the back, or do you want the people in the front? I'll do, I want to do everyone. <laughs> okay. So this person, I'm a virtual voter, and I think this presidency is shameful. My top priorities are security, military strength, fighting crime and terrorism, containing immigration, nationalism, and white supremacy. Ah, containing white supremacy, or just... White supremacy is my priority. It looks like, because there are commas, you should read it as containing immigration, nationalism, white supremacy. I, th I think? It, it seems like it's containing immigration, nationalism, white supremacy. <laughs> well, it's, 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 maybe it's three things. So containing doesn't modify immigration and nationalism and white supremacy. It just modifies immigration. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe. I wasn't entirely certain. I'm, I'm still not entirely certain. I, uh, yeah. Okay. This person says, I'm a virtual voter, blah, blah, blah. I think the president is doing a terrible job. My top priorities are security, military strength, fighting crime and terrorism, tradition, Christianity, and rural life. Okay. And then this person, oh, that was the same person, sorry, this one, I hate this government. My top priorities are security, military strength, fighting crime and terrorism, tax cuts, small government, austerity. What is austerity? I could not tell you. Huh. I, I, I don't know the word off the top <laughs> of my head. I Let, don't either. Let's look it up. Okay. I'm trying to look at these, like, controls. Austerity definition. Sorry, didn't mean to talk over you. No. Just had to speak to my phone here. Sternness or severity of manner or attitude. Uh, okay. Uh, what? You might have to ask. Uh, uh, here we go. Okay. Austerity refers to strict economic policies okay. that a government imposes to control growing public debt defined by increased frugality. Frugality. Okay. Which makes sense based on what their interests and wants are. Okay. Increased frugality by the government? Like the government doesn't spend a lot of money on things? I assume no. Well, it depends on what type of debt they're referring to. If they're talking to about the like the GDP, right, or the national debt or whatever, then yeah, I guess. But if they're talking about like population debt. You know, like the the debt, the general debt that the population is in. Then no, I, I would assume frugality is everyone individually. But interesting. All right, so you want to click on everybody. So this yeah. person, uh, I can't wait for the next elections. Economic growth, free market, and entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship, tax cuts, small government, and austerity are their top priorities. I'm a virtual voter. This is the worst administration ever. My top priorities are economic growth, free market entrepreneurship, tradition, Christianity, and rural life. This person, I had better hopes for this administration. My top priorities are containing immigration, nationalism, and white supremacy. Okay, so that then, because that person is also towards the front, to me what this means is they want to contain immigration, they want to contain nationalism, and they want to contain white supremacy. Okay. Like, stop those things from being prevalent in the country. Okay. That's what that says to me, but I could be wrong. They want a welfare state, public services, universal health care, and poverty relief. Okay. Which is why I guess they're towards the front during this democratic socialism simulator. Yeah. Uh, did we do this person already? We did. Yeah, we did. Tax cuts, uh, sorry. I think this government has been 
I think this government has been is ineffective. Okay. Tax cuts, small government austerity, civil rights, social justice, anti-racism, feminism, and LGBT rights. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just go from le uh, right to left now. I will do anything to support my president. Economic growth, free market entrepreneurship, world peace, internationalism, global justice. International. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I'm positively impressed by this administration. Civil rights, social justice, anti-racism, feminism, LGBT rights, environmentalism, conservation, and sustainability okay. are their top priorities. Uh, that was this person. Oh, they have antlers. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> civil rights, social justice. Okay. That was the same as this person. Oh, welfare state, public services, universal health care, poverty relief. Uh, tradition, Christianity, and rural life. I think America is headed in the right direction. Workers' rights, job creation, unionization. Okay. Uh, workers' rights, job creation, unionization, world peace, internationalism, global justice. Uh, this administration makes me proud of being American. Uh, that's what that's I just did. One. I just did this one as well, right? I had better hopes for this administration. Yeah, and then this person who seems to be one of the closest. Uh, I think this country is improving every day. Welfare state, public services, universal health care, poverty relief, world peace, internationalism, global justice. So what this says to me is that like these different topics that are shared by multiples of them. Yeah. As we make decisions that go against some and for others, that's how it defines which direction each of these things will move. Yeah. Based on what their interests are. Interesting. Okay. Many policies require funding. The yellow bar indicates your current budget surplus. It can go negative, too. So it's not a surplus. <laughs> so then you say tax more or spend more. And you can see how the bar is affected. Oh, okay. One way or another based on your choice. So which do you do? Ah. Uh, those are the choices? Currently. That's dumb. We don't need, we don't know what we need the surplus to be. And we don't know what we're spending the money on. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't affect the voters one way or another right now. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Like the voters aren't moving when we hover over like they did before. It's I just showing you the bar. I don't know. Spend more? The central bar represents the people's power. Right now, it's empty. That's the problem you are trying to solve. Okay. People's power or of course. Of course. The gray bar represents the greenhouse gas emissions in the USA. Your goal is to reduce them to zero. Eesh. Wow. That's going to be a lot. Wow. Okay. okay. Some radical reforms require a certain majority in Congress. This icon here indicates the minimum level of support you need. So this is a 50-50 split, whereas this looks like four to two. You can gain or lose Congress support at each election or due to major events. Okay. As a president, you can only be reelected once. Midterm elections will occur halfway through each of your terms. Okay. That's it, more or less. Swipe left, swipe right, pave the road to socialism and such. <laughs> With the power of Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't get demoralized if you fail. It may just be a bug in the simulator or plain bad luck. Ready? No, quit! Or I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. The press secretary, congratulations. This is your first day as president. Have you chosen a theme for your inauguration speech? Hope? or political revolution. Ah, hope brings everyone in. Revolution splits people. Oof. Like, like drastically splits people. <laughs> it pushes five people very far away from you and then 10 people close to you. Yeah. Or you bring everybody a little bit closer. All right, hope. Hope. How would you like your inauguration ceremony to be? Lavish or humble? So, lavish. 
So the people who like, uh, what's that? Uh, tax cuts, small government, and austerity, mm -hmm. they move away from you and everybody else moves closer, or humble, and they specifically move closer, whereas nobody else moves at all. Okay, so humble it is. Jesus. Wonderful ceremony. Moving speech. Now we have to start working. So many proposals, so little time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the treasurer. A carbon tax is a beautiful way to make polluters pay and incentivize the transition. I love it. No too technocratic or I love it too. I love it too. Okay, so be aware. Wow, what? Oh, jeez. Wow. That moves five people away from you, three of them very far away. Yeah. Because they're the people that, whoops. They're, this is the person that loves uh, small government. And so you're, you're now taxing more and um, I guess going after businesses that way. Yeah. Okay, we're still doing it or no? Yeah. Oh, wow, look. Yeah, Look at the that's bars what down I was here as well. At. That's why I said, whoa, because wow. that's such a surplus. Yeah. I don't know if I like that. You don't? I mean, it's a tax, right? So, of course, we get more money because of it. Yeah, but we have no control over how much more money we're getting. Correct. So we can't say just a little bit of a tax. It's huge. Well, yeah, but that's probably because there's that many polluters. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because the, I mean, the emissions is through the roof. So, yeah, yeah I love it, too. Okay, sorry. So we're, we're, oh, that's fine. What do you apologize? Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. I love it, too. Yeah. Defense advisor. At your earliest convenience, here's the draft for the Pentagon budget. Nothing new, only needs a rubber stamp. Let's re-examine it or yes. stamp it. No. Re-examine it. Budget item, Space Force. Brand new branch. <laughs> Still figuring out its purpose. Very promising. Cut or Space Force. Oh, no. So cut brings people closer to you. Space Force does nothing. <laughs> I guess we cut it then. Environmentalist. But I like Space Force. You do? <laughs> oh, God. We totally need to keep fossil fuels in the ground. Ban fracking and ban offshore drilling. No, it has to be gradual or ban and ban. So, no, it has to be gradual. Ban and ban. Wow. The environmentalists are already up at you. This only pushes five people away from you. Wow. Or technically four because this person can't go further away. But it does reduce emissions. Well, I do want to ban those things, but I agree it has to be gradual. Okay. So, so I would I mean? say no, it has to be gradual. Okay. Tech guru. Facial recognition on all surveillance cameras. Oof. Harness the power of AI to track criminals. Problematic or harness the power? So the people who believe in civil rights, social justice, anti-racism, feminism, and LGBT rights move away from you at that point. But everybody else who's back far away from you moves back in a little bit. And problematic, nothing happens. Because we're not doing anything. We're just saying no to AI and facial recognition. Yeah, I think that's problematic, okay. to be honest. That, that's fair. Attorney. A Native American tribe is suing the State Department for authorizing an oil pipeline on their land. Controversial. Fight or settle. So fight pushes the social justice folks away. And settle brings them closer. Settle. Environmentalist. This is so embarrassing, I want to kill myself. We have to reroute that pipeline and pay reparations. Reroute. Okay, so too late brings some people in and the environmentalists away. Uh, but reroute pushes these economic folk away. The free market people away. But reroute, you said? Okay. Attorney, the Supreme Court is still dominated by old conservatives and threatens to overturn your policies. Should we reform it? How or impossible? Uh, so impossible does nothing. How is still, it's just a question. I guess how? 
we can add two new seats to rebalance the court. The Republicans turned it into a partisan body. Let's take it back. It won't pass maybe later or other ideas? Other ideas. Okay. We can limit the Supreme Court justice's tenure. Each president appoints two members, which replace the most senior ones. Too radical or amend the Constitution. Ooh, that's pretty radical, too. Neither, I, if I love that. Neither affects anything. Too radical. Too radical. Healthcare advisor. Sorry to interrupt. The constituents are anxious. Will you push for Medicare for all? M me don't care for all? Or health yeah? Health yeah. So health yeah. Wow, neither affects people? Okay, interesting. You can establish a single payer health plan. The government covers all the bills. Simpler, less wasteful, just lovely. No too radical or let's, let's do, do it. Let's do it. Okay, so no two radical pushes those three away because they prefer a welfare state, public services, universal health care, and poverty relief. But let's do it pulls them in, but the um, the tax cuts, small government austerity, as well as... What was this person's... Why can't I click on them? Okay. Uh, economic growth, free market, and entrepreneurship. Doesn't oh like no. It. All right, ready? Socialized healthcare is actually slavery. Breaking news, Fox News. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Bad reputation among the elites? Befriend a billionaire. Some of them are decent people. Class enemies or set up a date? Set up a date. Ooh. That brings them closer. And this still brings them closer, but pushes the workers' rights, job creation, unionization people away because you're befriending billionaires who got Set that way off the backs of their workers. Diplomacy is always better than uh, burns. Than burn Sick bridges? Ribbons. Yeah, yeah. Let's recognize non-binary identities. We add a third gender option in all government documents. Bold. Triggering or progressive. So if we say triggering, it brings in the Christianity folk the tradition, Christianity, and rural life. Or, if we say progressive, it pushes them away, but brings in the civil rights, social justice, LGBT rights folk. I think it depends on what that third option is. The third option is, like, uh, prefer to self-identify or just non-binary as an option. I think the option should be prefer not to say. Because no matter what those options are, you should be able to prefer not to say. Well, it, all it says is we add a third gender option. So the third gender option would be a non-binary gender choice as opposed to prefer not to say. Although typically prefer not to say is just on there anyway. Like if it's a requirement. I don't know what things you've filled out, but nothing I've ever filled if out. If it's a requirement, then according to the government, that's not the choice that's in front say of us. Say progressive. Right okay. Civil rights leader. Oh, it's like a Black Panther. Yeah. I love it. Well, since there are more than three genders, we are now having a heated debate over the official label. Non-binary or queer? That was my point. Non-binary, queer. Either way, it pushes those I three away. I don't want either of those. <laughs> because there shouldn't be three. There's way more than three, so it should just be prefer not to say. Right. Say non-binary. Having trouble connecting with Christians? Visit the Pope. He is a crypto leftist, after all. No gods, no masters, or let's go. So no gods, no masters does nothing. Let's go brings the Christians back. Hmm. Um. Let's go. To impress the Pope, you should casually drop a cool verse from the Bible. Okay, Romans 1, 26 to 27, or Matthew 21, 12 to 13. So either you're impressing the civil rights, social justice folk, mm -hmm. or the, um, the tradition, Christianity, and rural life folk. And which one is which? This is the Christianity... This is the oh, really? uh, social justice, yeah. Because I would have picked Romans thinking that 
it would be um, thinking about what Romans were like <laughs> <laughs> and how they, um, for the most part, hated Christians until the very sort of near the end of the Roman Empire, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. um, where Christianity, you know, got designated the religion of choice. Um, but I guess that's not what it's about. So we'll pick Matthew then. Okay. I shouldn't even tell you this, but legalized pot. Are you high or done? So if you say, are you high, it brings the tradition and rural life folk in. But if you say done, it brings many people in, but the Christianity uh, rural life folk away. Yeah, I mean, I am not a fan um, of pot, uh, but a fan of legalizing it. I'm kind of, I, kind of indifferent, to be honest with you. Okay. Because uh, it doesn't affect me. Sure. Uh, it affects a lot of other people, however, uh, especially people who need medical marijuana. Sure. So I also personally uh, appreciate the boon that it could bring to the economy if you actually like legalize it so that the it can be regulated as an actual business as opposed to being brought in at you know underground channels or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Agreed. Um, but I also don't appreciate, like, walking into my kitchen and about to cook dinner and the whole thing smells like pot because our neighbors downstairs can't open a goddamn window and it goes through the pipes. Yeah. So. That's in you know. both That's in both of the last two apartments we've had. Yeah, well. Where we've smelled pot in our kitchen well, because that, people were smoking in Well, that there. wasn't really through the pipes at our old apartment. No. That was just, you Through know, the floor. That was just, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> here it's very, very noticeably through the pipes, oddly yeah. enough. Um, whatever. Uh, say done. Wait. You also got to get people with marijuana-related convictions out of jail. Woe, slow down, or done? No, I, well, yeah. I know how you, you feel about it, but I say done. Okay. They shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Okay. That's the way I think of it. So we're getting... We're, who are we upsetting with that? Security, military strength, fighting crime, and terrorism. I don't That's care. why. I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know who we're uh, upsetting with that. That's all. Wait. You also got to invest all the new revenues into the communities fucked over by the war on drugs. No, my precious or done. Because basically if you say, done, wow, you lose so much money. Wow. Done. Yeah, I mean, hey, I, I'm not saying that's, you know, you shouldn't do it because of that. I'm just pointing it out. So this means, like, nothing happens here. But here you lose a lot of money, the people gain more power, and you bring in the welfare state, public services, universal health care, poverty relief folk. Done? Yeah. You got it. Union leader. Stop right there. Let's not create another big tobacco. Co-ops for marijuana businesses. Labels. Health standards. Laissez-faire or done? Done. I'm not a laissez-faire no matter what it is. <laughs> Done. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Energy advisor. This is hilarious. Yeah. For a swift trans... <laughs> it's an eel. Yeah. For a swift transition to renewables, we need to create a new agency. A power marketing administration. Let's do it. Market solutions only or let's do it. So let's market solutions it. only... Nope. Okay. All right. Defense advisor, budget item, nuclear arsenal modernization. If somebody has to blow up the world, it should be us. Salient. So modernize it or cut it. Oh, God. Modernize. Modernize? Yes. Interesting. Okay. Because it'll come up. Well, I figured it would come up with the ways in which we could modernize it next. No. Doubtful. Okay. Civil rights leader. It's outrageous. Our prison system rakes in millions from free inmate labor and inflated phone call fees. By the way, I don't agree with this, but, uh, excuse me, they get paid, like, cents every day, like 50 cents or something every day. Yeah. They don't work for free, okay? <laughs> I'll end this. <laughs> okay. Let's provide a swift... This is the immigration advisor... 
Let's provide a swift pathway to citizenship for the millions of undocumented immigrants in America. Sounds nope, reasonable. or sounds reasonable. So nope would bring in the people who care about containing immigration. Okay. The New Pork Times. <laughs> Question, what did you mean by winning the class war? Class as in bourgeoisie or proletariat or style and fashion? <laughs> bourgeoisie and proletariat. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Okay. Six million convicted felons had their vote taken away. Disenfranchisement is morally unjustifiable. Oh no, wedge issue or reenfranchise? Disenfranchisement is morally unjustifiable. Yeah, so reenfranchise. Reenfranchise. Okay. So we lose. Oh, we actually had a. Oh, because workers' rights, job creation, unionization is down here. But the, we have a tradition, Christianity, rural life person this close. Wow. We've pushed him away. <laughs> Treasurer. Yo, let's establish a progressive tax on extreme wealth. It will only affect the 0.1% and raise trillions. That sounds great. Let's damn not right. punish success or damn right. Ooh, we need exactly how much congressional support we have oh, for that. Good. But look at how much money we make. Good. Wow. Jacqueline Magazine. Because it's a jackal. I love it. <laughs> Under the new wealth tax, billionaires will be taxed at the same rate as middle class homeowners. Okay. okay. Civil rights leader says, we demand police accountability. There must be criminal liability for serious police misconduct. Blue lives matter or why not? Why not? I mean, it should be sure as fuck yes. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gun nuts hate you? Let's enjoy some recreational shooting. No time for this or fine. Don't like guns. No time for this. So if you say fine, who do you bring in? Security, military strength, fight it, got it. No time for this. No time for this. It's the housing advisor. <gasps> He's a turtle. Yeah, because he has he walks around in his own house. Yeah. Yo, is it time to tackle the housing crisis? Yes. Too big later or tackle it? Tackle it. Okay. We propose a big trust fund to create millions of affordable housing units. No ghettos, no red lines. Sorry, no, or build and fix. Build and fix. Okay, it, it increases the people's power, but we got a bunch of money from the, the taxing of the billionaires, so... Okay. My friend, please don't go to the karaoke fundraiser for the fraternal order of police. All right, or cops are workers. Oh, um... That is an interesting one. Ooh, okay. So you slightly push away the civil rights social justice folk, but you very drastically bring in the security, military strength, fighting crime and terrorism people. Yeah, I mean... Like very drastically. Before Black Lives Matter, I would have said cops or workers, but... <sighs> All right. Interesting. Okay. I, one of the few where I, I would disagree with you, but that's totally fine, obviously. I'm sorry, I just... No, I, just, I, I, I don't... I, I, it's, I can't justify that. That's fine. I'm not upset with you, right? Like, it's not like, <laughs> how dare you? It's just, I, I would think that you, for me personally, I feel like you still need to leave that olive branch open and to spit in the face of all the, of all the hardworking cops who are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like, if you at least keep a dialogue open, there's still an opportunity to reform from within as opposed to making yourself their enemy. You know no, what I mean? dismantle. Well, yes, but you still need to... I guess my point is, as you're, as you're kind of defunding and changing up their programs, you need to fix... And this is all me, right? You need to fix their um, training policies. And so to do that, you need to be able to speak with the people who are training and train them in how to properly train police. Yes, but so, at this point, there's no, we can retrain the cops that already exist. In my mind, they have to be no longer cops. Oh, interesting. Okay. We can bring in new cops and train them correctly. But as far as I'm concerned, the cops that are currently cops cannot be cops anymore. Interesting. Okay. 
Uh, so here is the education advisor, which makes sense. You have the, the wise old owl. Motion to cancel the student debt affecting millions of Americans. Dot, 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 or seconded. Seconded. Yeah, good God. Could you imagine? Uh, and again, this is before the election. So who knows if Biden wins, who knows what he was, he and Kamala are planning to do. But we have failed a generation. Student debt is a major crisis that we can end immediately. But that's my money or cancel all debt. Cancel all debt. Wow, we lose so much money from that. It brings everyone in. There's no goddamn way that's how they that works. They have debt too. It doesn't matter. There are so many people. I'm not saying you shouldn't cancel all debt. Trust me, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I have seen the people uh, who have opinions about canceling student debt. And the first question is, how are we going to pay for it? And the second question is, or the second comment always is, um, well, I had to pay for mine and I worked hard and I paid mine off. So you should have to pay yours off too, which is... Yeah, because that was back in the day when... <laughs> it was a viable option yes. to be able to actually have that much surplus funding. Yeah. So but, I guess our voters aren't, you know, 60. <laughs> All I'm saying is there's no way you would get everyone to move closer to you with that. That's all. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm just very surprised that that's the case. Okay. Okay. United Nations. Want to chip in for clearing some unexploded bombs in Laos? After all, you guys dropped them there. It wasn't my war or it's our duty. We dropped it them? We dropped them? Yeah. That's what they're saying? Okay. It's our duty. Okay. So it wasn't my war pushes those folk away. It, it's our duty brings it's basically this person really. yeah. like these two move back slightly if it for it wasn't my war but for it's our duty it brings that person in immigration advisor can we overturn the muslim ban it's kind of xenophobic kind of unconstitutional keep it or overturn now. overturn now wow that's very polarizing well yeah that makes sense <laughs> Energy advisor says, turbines, turbines everywhere. The wind generation potential is nine times our energy demand. Yeah. Wind is unreliable or go with the wind. Oh my God. Wind energy is the best. It's the <laughs> fucking most renewable resource on the planet. So nothing there. Go or, with the wind. Yeah. You, you literally, it, it literally hurts nothing. I guess the environmentalists. And they've known that since like the 60s. They've known that for forever. It's literally the most renewable resource by like so much. Oh crap though. Watch our money. Ready? Mm-hmm. Boop. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Negative. That's okay. We'll make it up. Okay. Treasurer. Eee, we are officially in deficit. It means that spending exceeds revenues. It makes me quite nervous. We noticed. <laughs> yeah, I know what deficit means. Thanks. <laughs> Healthcare advisor. Cripes, Big Pharma is scamming us. What if we pegged the price of prescription drugs to those in peer countries? Let them be or peg them. I, I don't know what that means. I mean, I assume it means... Um, what spike if we pegged the price of prescription drugs to those in peer countries? Um... Interesting. So who, who moves away from us? Economic growth, free market, entrepreneurship. So I guess peg means um, like going towards our peer countries instead of staying within and talking to Big Pharma. Oh, like big oh okay. Pharma scamming Set us our own we're... prices to match our peer countries. Now I understand. Okay. Peg them. Yes. Okay. Defense advisor, I'm notifying you that the Iraqi government is calling for all foreign troops to leave. They want us out. No, we call the shots or withdraw. Withdraw. Interesting. Okay. Surely you're aware that leaving Iraq would jeopardize our presence in the whole region and ISIS might surge. Right, we stay or withdraw. ISIS will surge if we are there fucking with them. Oh, we get some money back if we withdraw. Because our military spending is lessened Good. drastically. So we withdraw? withdraw uh, withdrew many years ago. Whoa, rural advisor. Rural America has been neglected by the Democrats, but there is a lot we can do there. Let me help you. 
Okay. It's a lost cause or join the team. Join the team. It's a lost cause is a really messed up thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> They're a lost cause. Forget them. <laughs> wow. Farming's gotten a get bigger, get out deal. Bust the monopolies and we'll all be merry. Break that them up. Hell nah or break them up. So hell nah, break them up uh, upsets the economic growth free market folk. Fuck them. Yeah, see ya. The left must keep lefting, says Jacqueline Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Lobbyist. Nice economy you have right there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Of course it's a shark. Yeah. Get lost or is this a threat? Is this a threat? Of course not. But all these taxes and regulations are pissing off Wall Street. Oh, you're playing no. with you're playing with fire, comrade. It's my mandate or noted. Noted. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs> Don't care about Wall Street. Economist. Investments are languishing, so I prepared a economic development package. Cash and near cash investment incentives. Nope or incentivize. So incentivize brings in the workers' rights, job creation, unionization folk, as well as the economic growth, free market, entrepreneurship folk. Doing nothing does nothing because... We haven't taken any steps one way or another. This should be Anne. It's Correct. Bothering me. Correct. What uh, what's rattling around this in is your a head? Tough one. This is a tough one. I agree with you. What? Oh, money-wise, oh. Investments are languishing because of the last decision we made. Yeah, but look, so nope does nothing, obviously, but incentivize, look at the, not only at the voters, look at the bars. Mm -hmm. Money goes down, emissions go up. Ooh. And does the people power change? No, no. not at all. All right, so let's say nope. Press secretary, the polls are clear. We need a pet in the White House. A, <laughs> a dog or a cat? A dog. <laughs> so notice our, our pie chart for time to elections is closing. <laughs> nice. Should we keep building the wall on the Mexico border? We are like 13% done. Stop the madness or keep building? Stop the madness. Stop the madness saves us some money. Keep building uh, does nothing? Interesting. <laughs> Defense advisor, we are updating a lot of equipment. We can pass it to police departments for cheap. They love our cool toys. Dangerous or militarized? Dangerous. Very dangerous. This is what we discussed earlier. So militarized brings in the the security folk. Okay. Dangerous. Civil rights leader. Speaking of, we must further demilitarize police so they don't feel like they are an occupying force in our communities. Agreed. But they are or demilitarize. Demilitarize. You got it. You seem a little stressed. You should pick up a sport and show people you are not all work and no play. Golf or basketball? Ugh, I'm awful at sports. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so golf brings in the economic growth folk, but basketball brings in the workers' rights, job creation, unionization folk. So, blue collar versus white collar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um... I mean, for me, I hate them both. Or I shouldn't say I hate them both. Um, I dislike them equally. <laughs> okay. um, but I probably have to hang out with some fucking assholes if I play golf. So let's play basketball. You got it. Jesus. In fighting alert, a batch of leftist candidates are challenging our party incumbents. Don't endorse them. I'll endorse them or unity. Y'all gotta support organic farming. Make it real and cheap, not just an uppity brand. Hold your horses or preach. Preach. <laughs> yeah, who does that upset if we say hold your horses? I don't understand. Oh, our money goes down, but our emissions also go down. Done. The midterm elections are upon us. I'm a bit nervous. Should you be? We're I don't like care. we have like a super majority up front here. There we go. 
You maintain the same number of seats in Congress. That's important. Okay. Well, interestingly enough, I'm going to say that uh, it, sh I mean, it shows who voted for us. No, no surprise there. Uh, and who didn't? No surprise there either. Um, yeah, I'm a little surprised this person didn't. This person here? Yeah. Okay. Because they're pretty close to us. They are pretty close. They're way over 50%. Okay. Interesting. I think we've been doing pretty well so Maybe far. Maybe they voted independent. Oh, uh, okay. Third party. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I think that that's going to be the end of this particular episode. I don't think this is the kind of thing that, uh, Look especially. Look how high our power got. I know. And from nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, the. Yeah, I'm really uh, happy with that. Bringing the emissions down is going to be a tough one, it seems. And we still have a little bit of surplus. Correct. See? We I went, knew we would make it up. Oh, yeah. We went negative only once. Uh, but then as soon as we um, the took the troops decision. out, it, <laughs> it, was, it, yeah. Yeah, it brought it yeah. back. Taking to the troops out would definitely save us a lot of fucking money. Yeah, exactly. So And a lot of other things. This is an interesting game. And I will say that it's, it's pretty polarizing. And I think the fact that we're playing this before the election, but that it'll come out after the election means that we're kind of... We kind of have our pants down a little bit here. Oh, okay. Right? Because, like, we have no idea what, what world this is going to go up in. No, oh, well. You know, whether it's going to be the second term for Trump or whether it's going to be a Biden-Kamala or Biden-Harris situation. I mean, the president is not going to watch our video. <laughs> no, that's, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. But the fact that, like having these discussions of like what we agree with or disagree with or whatever, it's possible that those things would have already happened by the time we are. I hope so. I mean, don't we all? Um, interesting. Very, very interesting. What do you think of the game so far? You like it's it? It's great. Good. Good. What do you mean so far? It's not over? No. Oh. No, that's why I'm saying that's the end of this episode. We'll be back next week. Oh. This is These are midterm elections. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's not, we're not more. done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exciting. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying I figure this is a nice place to stop. Good stopping point, and we'll we'll come back next week with more. Okay. So uh, we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please. All I will say, uh, uh, people on our videos have been amazing, awesome individuals. Um, with this particular kind of video, all I ask is that everybody is respectful of one another. Right. We can, Regardless I love. Regardless of what is said. Yes. I love having discussions. Um, and as long as they are civil, then they can continue happening. If we have to do things with the comment section and like pulling people away or whatever, we'll, we'll do that on extreme cases. We don't, we're right. not looking to silence anybody. If you say something we disagree with, that's not when we get rid of you. It's only if you're being rude to fellow commenters and stuff. And like I said, yeah, that's not I, something I that... I don't approve of censorship. I no. approve of, um, you know, uh, getting rid of people who are um, causing needless pain. Right, belligerent or, or rude or whatever. No, because I, I, I love contrary opinions. I truly do. Um, and I think that it's a nice... Like, the YouTube comment section isn't necessarily the, the, the place that I would look to to have, like, spirited political discussions but this but is the world we live in and i i truly this would game would lend such yeah a, such a thing to occur and i truly would love to hear people's opinions i think the irony of the fact that this game was uh obtained by us through a donation to the bundle for racial equality mm -hmm. means that there are certain things in here where you know it's kind of a no-brainer <laughs> in terms yeah. of what we're going to choose or whatever um but I, I still, like I said, I'd love to hear people's thoughts down below. Um, just letting us know uh, what you think of the game, what you think of our decisions, what you would have decided and why, if right. you um, if you are comfortable telling us those things. Um, and if you feel like we like messed up somewhere where you're like, oh, guys, you made that one decision to pull the troops out. You know, that's going to be tough later or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I really would love uh, to hear lots of opinions. We can continue the discussion with you or you can continue it with your fellow commenters. But either way, along with commenting, if you do all the other fun YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. All that fun stuff helps us out a lot and we really do appreciate the support. Yes. So for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>